Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tricia and I'm excited to share another DIY project with you. This is a Dollar Tree mirrored flower base. I wanna give a special thanks to Candice, one of our fellow subscribers for reaching out and challenging me. Her challenge was to make a mirrored flower base under $20 and using only Dollar Tree supplies. And this is what I came up with. So if you're looking for wedding decor or something for the home, I hope this inspires you. Let me show you the steps that I took. Oh my God, guys, I have to update you. Okay, I was in Michael's and look what I saw. You remember that project that I recently did with the faux crystal um, candle holder? Yes, these are the decorative fillers that I was talking about that I saw at Dollar Tree. So if you don't see it in Dollar Tree, you can always go to Michael's. Um, make sure you call them beforehand. Don't waste your gas. Make sure they have them. And these are big bags. I'm sure you can probably make two of the candles. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop the link at the top. Make sure you check it out. It's a really cool project. And now back to the flower vase. To start off, you'll need 16 mirrors from the Dollar Tree. And what you wanna do first is remove the felt pads. These should be easy to remove. We just wanna make sure we have a flat surface. The next step is to build the base structure. You don't have to do the step if you already have an existing object that is the perfect size for what you're trying to accomplish. But for me, I did not have a structure um, to use for my mirrors. I didn't want to cut the mirrors, so I'm going to create my custom box. And I wanted to show you a package that I had just for reference. So you can see this is the top and this is the bottom and this is what we are going to try to mimic. So let's begin with the sides. So we're going to place three mirrors onto the cardboard. The first square is the placeholder for the bottom flap. Now take your pen or pencil and draw a line around the mirrors. Remove the placeholder and draw a line. Now let's work on the front. Next I'm going to place four squares onto the cardboard, two for each row. I used a mirror to make sure the bottom flat was the same size as the square. Guys, now that I've done the project, I wish I would have made the flap at the bottom half the size of the mirror. Doing that would have decreased the amount of bulkiness at the base. Now draw a line around the four squares. Place a square and draw an outline at the bottom to indicate where the flap ends. I'm going to repeat the same process as before and create my side by placing mirrors onto the cardboard and drawing an outline and I will do the same thing for the back. So here I'm just going to create a small flap so that I can use it to glue the side to the back. Now we can remove all the mirrors from the cardboard. Next I'm going to remove the excess cardboard as well as cut the sides of the flaps. You can either use scissors, an X-Acto knife, or a box cutter to do this. I'm cutting below the line just so the mirror is above the cardboard. Now we want to score the line. I don't have a score knife, so I'm going to use my um, box cutter and I'm slightly cutting uh, the cardboard. Make sure you do not go all the way through. Now it's time to spray paint. I'm going to use this Krylon metallic silver spray paint and you want to take the cardboard to a well ventilated area and begin to spray paint. I'm shaking a can up for a minute and then lightly spraying. I'm only focusing on the lines or the creases of the cardboard. You don't have to cover the entire thing. Now I'm gluing the box together. I'm just going to take my hot glue gun on the high setting and just glue the bottom and the side together. Here's another lesson learned from me. Uh, instead of gluing the connecting tab to the outside of the box, glue it to the inside, which I didn't do. And as a result, I had to add more cardboard um, to make sure that it was even all the way across the box, which I did later on in the project, but I didn't show it. Okay, so now that we've created our box, it's time to glue on the mirrors. Before you start gluing, I would recommend positioning the mirrors where you would like it first and then glue. Repeat the same process all the way around the box. 
And this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to add a additional piece to the center of the front and back and I'm using E6000 in hot glue to do this. Now it's time to decorate the center of the front and back. And um, the options that I was thinking about was the monogram look or the crystals, which I purchased at um, Hobby Lobby. And here is a decal that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So there's a lot of options to choose from. And I decided to go with the crystal look. So what I did was just cut up the um, crystal stickers and place it however I like. Um, you don't necessarily have to have it in the design as it was on the package. You can freestyle, which I did, and cut little pieces of um, the crystals and make your own design. So let me show you what I mean. You see how I broke up the designs and created something different? Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up as far as completing the flower base. Now I'm going to decorate it and that's outside of the $20 challenge. So what I did was add floral foam to the inside of the box. You don't have to do this. You can use shopping or grocery bags, something like that, and stuff it and then you can add whatever flowers you want. I already had some flowers on hand. Um, I used hydrangeas for this. So feel free to use whatever flowers that you have. I just like the simplicity of it, the look. It's like a clean feel. So all I'm going to do is just stagger the flowers in the inside. This is not a full tutorial on how to do that. I just want to show you a glimpse of it. Once you have your flowers in there, you're gonna to have to bend it and kind of spread it out so that it can be more full um, when you see it. Also, after you put the flowers in there, you want to put um, moss in there to kind of complete it so you won't see the cardboard. And this is what it looks like. Guys, it, you won't be able to tell that it's a box at all. So what are some other ideas you would like to share? Just drop it in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching. Let's connect on Instagram. I'm at Designs by Tricia. I would love to see your DIY projects. So make sure you tag me. Also, check out my other videos. I think you'll like it.